Repeat or revenge? I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Insider. Fans jammed the Ford Center Saturday afternoon looking to see if the University of Evansville men's basketball team could ride the momentum of Wednesday's first road victory against Missouri State to a payback win against Illinois State. Payback appeared to be in the air early. Marty Hill gets the ball rolling for UE, draining the three from the wing. That one is good. Yeah, Marty Hill. Next, Shea Feehan's quick hand sets himself up for the theft and deposit. Wow, went in anyways. I had to say wow to that. <laughs> Noah Frederick keeps the aces ahead of the Redbirds, torching the twines on the trifecta. Evansville is up 12-9, to nine, five minutes in. <laughs> you can't give him a second opportunity. No. He'll knock it down every time. K.J. Riley would keep the offense rolling, finding John Hall, who goes three-ball corner pocket good, and the aces remain in the lead. John I mean, Hall. look at this start. However, Illinois State shadows UE on the scoreboard, then takes the lead behind the unexpected scoring bursts of Matt Chastain and William Tinsley. That shot as Tinsley well. for three again. Down 10 with under two minutes before intermission, the aces reignite. Shea Feehan's triple goes along with John Hall's layup to cut the deficit to 35-30 at the break. John Hall, he dropped so nicely off of that screen. At the half, the University of Evansville honored three of its national championship teams as the 1959-60, the 1963-64, and the 1970-71 squads were set to go into the school's Hall of Fame Saturday night. Illinois State comes out of the locker room determined to rebuild their advantage, and 6-6 guard Malik Yarbrough was the implement of their attack. And when the smoke clears, the Aces were down 14 midway through the final stanza. Yarbrough would finish with a game-high 27 points. Now back to a 10-point advantage. But Evansville refuses to fold. Marty Hill drains the corner tray to start a rally. Marty Hill get it back in a little bit. Next, John Hall puts on his hard hat and goes to work in side for the tough two in traffic. Off the glass, sweet move by John Hall. Noah Frederick continues the comeback going long range for three. The Aces draw within six points with six minutes to go. A big basket. They've got the Redbirds would put the brakes on their slide emphatically as Matt Chastain nearly brings down the house on this reverse slam. <laughs> Look at that alley -oop. Wow. Reverse dunk by Chastain. We Still the Aces battle back. John Hall with three of his 18 points gets UE back within four. John Hall for three. That wow. one's good. Four-point game. What a shot by John Hall after <laughs> wow. the turnover. However, Evansville would draw no closer as they fall 78-70. to 70. Good. Timeout, time Walter out. McCarthy. So instead of payback, it was playback for this University of Evansville men's basketball team as head coach Walter McCarty and company just couldn't quite find the formula to work against the very talented Redbird squad. After the game, I caught up with both Coach McCarty and a couple of the players, and they all said that this was a disappointing performance and certainly one they're going to have to learn from in a hurry. We're young. We're young. We're still learning, and this is, it is a process. Our guys have to understand how, you know, we talk about it all the time, every possession matters. And you know, we started the game, we're, for whatever reason, we're not dialed in or liked in to our, to, to our game plan, and, you know, we continue to make mistake after mistake after mistake, and, um, you know, we did it in both halves, and, you know, in order to, to beat a good team like this, you know, who has more talent than us, who are better than us, who are bigger than us, who are faster than us, we can't, we can't give them extra points by either bailing out or just not knowing our defensive assignment and, 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 and not doing what we're supposed to do. So but we got to learn from it. And, you know, it is what it is. We, we, in order for us to win, we have to be locked in. There's not, there's not, there's not a whole lot of room for, um, for, for us to, to not execute. Just again, we have to put 40 minutes together, something we've been saying all year. We've done it at times, but uh, we haven't consistently done it all year. And this is another example of that tonight. We just got to play tough 40 minutes. Uh, that's the key. Uh, guard, rebound. We just got to do tough things. And overall, Illinois State, why do they prove to be such a tough matchup? Well, they got guys who can do different things. They got guys who can put the ball on the floor, especially if they have a base who can put the ball on the floor and score it um, behind the three and get to the rim. Uh, but also can, can can pass the ball. But they're coached really well. They're coached really well. And they, you know, they're probably the most talented team in the conference. So, I mean, 
When you got the most talented team in the conference, you're going to have guys who can do some things. Illinois State, I hate to use the term having your number, but it seems like these guys are a tough matchup for you. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, you know, dealing with uh, Fain and, and Yarbrough, they just put us in a lot of mismatches, and they got guys that help space the floor for those two. So it just, I mean, of course, it's always a tough matchup for anybody. They're, they're a tough team. Uh, they play physical. Uh, some teams don't like the physicality, but you just got to step up and take the challenge. And it must have been eaten away at you, the free throw shooting. This is a great free throw shooting team. You're, the aces are, and, and just somehow it just vanished today. Yeah, I mean, that's a part of the game. Guys miss and make free throws, but I'm more disappointed in our lack of focus on our, on our game execution. You know, if, if we execute our game plan, probably didn't come down to free throws. So we got to be, be better at executing. I, I, I would love for us to execute uh, more than, 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 than the missing the free throws part. This is the part of it. Up next for the Aces is a rare Iowa road trip. It's rare in the sense that they'll be gone all week beginning Tuesday as first they travel to Des Moines to take on Drake on Tuesday night. And then on Saturday night, they'll be playing against Northern Iowa. For the Aces Insider, I'm Joe Downs. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.